Hello, Sable. Hello, Florian. Uh, thank you very much for being um, the participants in our Hydrogen in Three series. Um, obviously, it's very important for us to showcase different aspects of the hydrogen industry within this series. And I believe here it's a very unique proposition that, that your company, Rouge H2, has within the hydrogen value chain. So thank you very much for being here. Um, and before we get started, I was hoping perhaps you could give an introduction as to, as to who you are uh, and what your company does and, and where you sit within you know, the hydrogen industry. So um, take it away. Thank you. Thank you. And first of all, thank you for the invitation. And uh, my mission is to reduce as much greenhouse gas emissions as possible in the first place. So when I know my grandfather was a farmer, so when I saw this uh, new technology from TU grads, I immediately decided to invest in this technology and bought the patent of this chemical looping process to produce renewable hydrogen from biogas or landfill gas. Excellent. Yeah. I would probably should mention that you are the sole owner and investor and chairwoman of the advisory board in the Rouge H2 Engineering. While mm -hmm. I'm, my name is Florian von Hofen. I'm the CEO of the company from the very, very first day, uh, which was in early 2015. Excellent. Um, and I think, you know, to, to expand on, on that, the, the eyes on hydrogen um, and the sort of hype around the sector have reached unprecedented levels over the last couple of years, while, you know, your interest might have been in it for, for a bit longer than that. Um, and 2021 was, was a very big year for, for the sector in general, uh, with a lot of traction. Um, just more broadly, you know, um, where do you see hydrogen playing a big part in reaching our global net zero targets? The net zero target can only be achieved by both reducing and removing greenhouse gas emissions, such as methane and uh, CO2 emissions. Thanks to the hype around hydrogen, many people have learned that hydrogen is one of the important pillars to reduce CO2 emissions because burning hydrogen only emits water. However, not many people know that some pathways to produce hydrogen can remove and uh, reduce greenhouse gas emissions at the same time. For example, uh, our pathway of producing renewable hydrogen. Yeah, um, and I think, you know, this year in general, we've seen major investments you know, and companies partnering up uh, numerous MOUs uh, within the hydrogen sector. Um, and we're now reaching a point where the challenges that, that the, the industry faces are, are unprecedented and new because, you know, we haven't approached this as an energy sector before. Now, what, what do you see as the, the major positives that hydrogen brings? And secondly, what do you think are the major challenges um, that hydrogen faces in, in becoming, you know, a key aspect of the energy mix? This, this question for the challenges, I think mm. it's about the, the solutions. You, we have to find the right of taker to yeah. use this hydrogen, renewable hydrogen. But for us, I, I have to explain, now we have demand more than supply at this moment yeah. as for our technology, not electrolyzer, not other uh, I see. Yeah. solutions. It's really a different scenario at this moment for our company because we have large uh, scale projects uh, um, in discussion. Mm. And our challenge is to create win-win situations between partners and the investors. That, that's a key message. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. And I think 
where your company sits is rather unique as well within the sector. You know, how many companies are working on that biogas to hydrogen for multiple set parts of the industry? I mean, what specific role do you think that, that Rouge H2 will uniquely bring to the hydrogen value chain that, that other companies, you know, aren't able to achieve? Our unique technology is based on that we can use a very low value mm. biogas, landfill gas, without other additional upgrading to produce high purity hydrogen and uh, CO2 and nitrogen at the same time in one reactor. So it's a very simple solution and uh, can create a lot of value, especially now our project is mainly um, because we produce high purity nitrogen. So this nitrogen can work with hydrogen to produce ammonia directly. And uh, we produce CO2 and uh, with the CO2 and ammonia, we can produce urea. Because we, our uh, big gas, uh, our raw material is biogas. So we work for farmers and the, the, the products can also give farmers more productivity. So we have uh, a lot of interest from farming sector and from the circular economy and the waste management sector. Uh, that's our unique. Uh, role of market, uh, how to say, put proposition in this hydrogen industry. Yeah. If I, if I may add something, yes. is I think that's really the important message is that we have a very strong connection with the agricultural sector. Yes. Uh, but as well with the petrochemical industry and also in the waste sector. Waste management. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that makes us a little bit unique. Yeah, for sure. I think it, it's very, be very interesting to see, you know, globally how you expand over the next few years and become the, the front runners in industries that maybe aren't as prevalent, you know, to be serviced within the hydrogen sector. So that's certainly extremely interesting. And we'll be watching you every step of the way. Uh, and we wish you all the best from our side, and I'm sure the rest of the um, people championing the, the clean energy revolution will be doing the same. Um, but yeah, it's great to see you guys doing well. And thank you very much for talking to us today. Um, and all and the best to, to you both and to Rouge H2 in the near future. Thank you.